Gerhard Steingart. A book I really love is Vladimir Nabokov's Pnin. Now, I know what you're thinking. You like Lolita because of all the underage teenage sex and all that. Well, that's good stuff, too. Uh, but Pnin is an even more fascinating book, and it's a lot more humane. Uh, the title character is uh, Timofey Pnin. Uh, the name sounds, Nabokov writes, it sounds like an explosion. Pnin. Uh, P-N-I-N. And uh, what I love about that book is just how humane the character is. Nabokov is known for his kind of jackass characters. You know, you have Humbert Humbert, who's, you know, pursuing the teenage Lolita, and he represents a sort of a jackass uh, aristocratic European. But Timofey Pnin is an immigrant who can barely speak English. He's a professor at a university just like Cornell uh, in, in upstate New York. And he's completely befuddled by American life. So you start out the book making fun of him and laughing with him. It's a satire. But then in the middle of the book, Nabokov does something incredible. He introduces this incredible humanity to him, to uh, Timofey Pnin. And he does it by invoking the Holocaust, which is something that's very, you know, cliched in many books. But here it's used just brilliantly so. Uh, and all of a sudden, the book becomes, uh, it stops being a complete satire. and all of a sudden becomes a book with an undercurrent of tragedy. It is one of the most memorable books I've ever read. It's a favorite of a lot of the writers I know as well. And if you finish Lolita and you love Lolita, give yourself a nice little break. It's very short. I know contemporary readers don't like books too big. <laughs> Keep it short. So it's under 200 pages. You can read it in probably a couple of years. Uh, so I very heartily recommend Nabokov's Penin.